my name is Wayne Blatt and welcome to the NSDA. Today we're going to look at using a couple simple tools to help make your shot better. If you listen to any skills coach or your coach or your father, mother, whoever it is who's helping you with shooting the puck harder, right? especially when we're talking about wrist shots and snap shots, which is what we're going to address today, we want to make sure that puck is close to our body. So the further that puck gets away from our body, the less flex we're going to have on our stick, which makes sense. So our hands are in a good position, our hands are away from our body, and we want to try to generate power and force on that stick by pushing. Now, if that puck is too far away here, it's hard to flex. If it's out in front, not going to get a lot of flex, and same thing back here. So ideally, you want that puck in a good spot right here, so now I can generate power and force as I'm pushing with my bottom hand. Now, when we look at good shooters in the NHL, you look at players like Ovechkin or Matthews, a lot of times, fans, people will say, well, their puck's way out here, which is true. And they'll set up their move out here on a defenseman or a player, and they'll drag that puck across, and then they'll let that puck go closer to their body. And if you watch a player like Matthews, he loves pulling pucks around sticks. So if a player, if you have a defender like this, let's say standing like I am, and this is their stick here, you'll see Matthews come in like this, pull it around here, and then drag it in and shoot it. All right, now how does he do that? Obviously lots of practice. And just like any skill, you gotta work at it and practice in order to get better. But a real simple way to work on that is setting up a stick in your garage, basement, doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't have to be on the ice, can be anywhere. And just setting up your pucks on this side here. Don't worry about rapid fire. Don't grab pucks and just shoot them and shoot them and shoot them. Try to set it up, take your time and work on proper technique. And if the shot's not good, that's okay. Keep adding, keep adding, keep adding and keep getting reps in. So if I have my puck here, simply just make a little fake and you don't have to go right up the stick because that's a long way to travel all the way around and realistically in a game, it's not going to be very realistic, right? That was a double realistic for you there. But in a game, that's, that may not be realistic to pull a puck that far around. So if I start up here, pull the puck in back here and then let that puck go. And again, as I get that puck close to the body, now I can push down with that bottom hand and then fire. So if I take a couple shots here, I come in, pull, and then shot. I come in here, pull it up, pull it back, and then shot. Come in here, pull it up, pull it back, and then shot. Same idea, pull it up, pull it back, and then shot. Now, there's a bunch of varieties of this, right? I can come in here, pull my puck like a toe drag and shoot it. So again, come in here, turn my blade, and then shot. Come in here, make my fake, pull the puck, and then shot. I always recommend players start really simple. So start off just stationary, whether you're on your feet in your, in your backyard or in your garage or you're on the ice. Start simple, get the pattern down, feel comfortable with it. And then as you get going, then you can add a little bit of speed to it. Light speed, really slow. But even if you're walking, so if I'm walking here, let's pretend I got shoes on, not skates. But if I'm walking here, I walk, pull my puck around and then shot, right? Roller blades, anything like that. But if I'm on the ice going really slow, coming in here, pull my puck up, fake in, down, and then shot. And again, same idea, just coming in slow, pulling that puck up, back, and then shot. Let's try these last two to hit the net here. Coming in here, fake it, pull, and then shot. But again, just working on this really slow, taking your time, just a light glide, pull it back, and then shot. But working on it nice and slow, getting that pattern down, and then adding some speed to it. One other real simple little drill that a player can do, again, whether at home, in the basement, doesn't matter where they are, on the ice, coaches, if you're trying to help a player develop a better shot, this is a great way for players to keep that puck in close. So as a player is getting set here, we set up boundaries. It could be spray paint, it could be cones, it could be, I just use sticks today, but it could be anything. But setting up barriers, and if you try this as a coach, or someone that's practicing, it feels really weird. You feel like you're in a box, but that's what we want. Because getting your puck, if you're a young shooter that likes to go from here to shoot, and you want to get a player to get their feet and their, and their stick close, it's really hard. So again, we want that top hand up, almost like you have someone in a headlock. So hand up and away from that body. Bottom hand in a good spot, and now we're just gonna work on simply pushing with that bottom hand and letting the puck go. So if we see how we've got this set up here, we're not trying to rapid fire. All we're trying to do is get set, shoot. Grab another puck, get set, shoot. This is one thing I want players and parents and coaches to understand. It doesn't matter how many pucks you shoot, it's how you shoot your pucks. So take your time, try to get proper technique nailed down rather than worrying about how many pucks that you shot. So when you're set up here, you've got your barriers, right? And if it feels too tight, you can always 
make them a little bit wider and then bring them in as that shooter gets better and feels more comfortable. So you can get them nice and tight. But all we want to do is have our players set up here just like they're in a game. So they're going to the net. You can set them up like this as well if you want to shoot from back foot to front foot or if you're skating towards the net like this. And the biggest thing here is they're not going to be able to go outside. So we want to keep them right in here, top hands up, and then shot on net. So we want that player to keep that puck close to their body. Their top hand is up and away. So they're in a good spot here. And now just leveraging that bottom hand. So pushing, coming in here, step, and then push. So even if a player's in, in shoes, they're standing here with shoes on, same idea. They can take a step in and then let that shot go. If you're, on, if you're in skates, same thing, coming in nice and easy, just a little push, and then shot on net. Now, as we want to add a little bit of speed, just like we talked about earlier, we can slide these sticks up a little bit. A drill like this can begin with a pass. Maybe that player receives a pass and has to skate in a little bit. But now we're going to try to keep that puck in between those sticks. So if a player comes in here, gets a pass, steps in quick, and then shot on net. We can set these sticks up anywhere in a drill. Cones, spray paint, whatever you want. You can set up a lane where players maybe get a pass off the line, they come in and they have to try to shoot in between those lanes in order to keep that stick and that puck close to their body. So again, coming in, taking up a puck, skating into it here, and then good shot on net, staying within there. And as a player gets better, we can tighten up these sticks. And again, forcing them to really hug one stick, keep that stick in close, and then get a good shot on. As coaches, parents, players, we're always looking for ways to elevate our game and try to get better. And this is an easy, easy way right here with these two tracks to really help players focus on keeping that puck close to their body and getting way more snap, way more leverage on that puck by using their stick properly, driving their shoulders to the net, all those little things we talk about when we work on wrist shots and snap shots. Now we're really addressing the issue of keeping that puck in close. So not letting players get that puck too far away from their body, too far out front or too far behind their body. Keeping that puck in a good spot and then releasing the puck from there.